For this application, in many uh, ways, we have to marry into uh, an existing customer's application. And a lot of times, they'll be uh, required to keep their automation platform. So on this display, what we're showcasing is how we can work in conjunction with the existing automation platform. Say, for instance, here's the, the Rockwell PLC system. And what we're able to do with several of our components is integrate automation into their uh, uh, architecture. One of the things we can do here is, again, that IO link technology that we looked at or used uh, earlier. We're using a third-party device here as a gateway to go from uh, Ethernet IP, which is a network that uh, is supported strongly by the Rockwell platform, and transforming it through the gateway from Ethernet IP to that IO link technology. So again, what this allows us to do, like the other starters, be able to greatly reduce our wiring for our customers for multiple starters in a panel. As I said before, a single starter would use five wires per starter to both control and to monitor the status of that starter. So if you had an application where you had 16 starters, five times 16, you would have 80 wires of hardwired uh, connections and the associated input and output modules to be able to both control and monitor those 16 starters. With the IO link technology, again, a three-wire connection going from the master device, in this case, going again to our traditional starters, here's that three-wire connection like I had earlier with a ribbon cable connection coming across. In this case, I've got four starters. So now I'm replacing what would have been equivalently of 20 wires with four starters with only three. And because this one master can handle up to uh, four channels or four IO-Link devices, this group of four starters looks like one device to the master. So I can actually do four groups of four or 16 of these starters and only require 12 wires, four times three, as opposed to the 80 wires and all of the modules on the hardwired design. So again, I can save customers installation time and overall costs using this IO-Link technology while at the same time maintaining the, the same control system. In addition to starters, I can also do an overload relay on the IO-Link to be able to get motor current back for simple motor applications. I can also incorporate a new product to the marketplace, the Simicode system, similar to what I used earlier on the, on the pump panel, but this particular Simicode now talks the Ethernet IP protocol. So now we can directly connect the Simicode system, such as one of those uh, remote pump panels, and now directly connect it into an automation uh, system based on the Rockwell platform.